a performer who has created a dance form of his own which successfully assimilates indian and western techniques who has experimented with a variety of forms themes concepts and performance spaces and has collaborated with other dancers composers and designers to create innovative works of aesthetic value should be known as nothing less than the pioneer of modern dance in india we are talking about none other than astad debu for the last 16 years he has been working with deaf performers in india usa mexico and hong kong he has collaborated with indian martial arts practitioners puppeteers actors and musicians creating distinct and innovative works across many genres the 14 member team from salam balak trust with a maestro as their mentor conquered hearts at the lise francis school pondicherry with their performance titled the breaking boundaries they triumph over every margin I am Sukanya Yes with cameraman Vivek reporting for Enquirer. We are Lise France and the children from Salam Ballet Trust are going to make a performance on breaking boundaries. This performance is choreographed by the famous performer and veteran uh, choreographer Asta Debu. They are at the final round of a rehearsal and we are looking forward for an excellent performance from them. Hello. <coughs> Uh, we'll start off with the present work which I have been doing uh, with the performers of the Salam Balak Trust, New Delhi. Uh, the piece is called Breaking Boundaries and I started working with these very talented, enthusiastic, hard-working young performers. Uh, the work began in 2008 in October when I had the opportunity and also the timing was right for me to start uh, looking in developing a new group of young talented performers. I've been working with the deaf performers for the last 22 years. I started off with a group in Kolkata, the action players, which are a group of actors who had no dance training in their background and I mentored and nurtured them and created works and we traveled. The next journey brought me to Chennai for the Clark School of the Deaf Girls and these girls were all trained in Bharatanatyam so the approach to work and teach and train them was very different because they did have a dance vocabulary. In your very midst of Pondicherry, there's a jewel here who was with me for seven years. Her name is Kartika. Kartika, will you come up on stage? She comes from the deaf class school of the girls. Come, Kartika. You know, with the deaf uh, girls from Chennai, from the Clark School, this was the first group that I had created a full-length work of 60 minutes. My other work with other deaf groups, there were works of 15, 20 minutes. But with this group, were the wonderfully talented girls from Chennai, Kartika, International Festival of Deaf Performance, where 65 countries were participating. And she performed a solo, as well as she performed a duet with me. Besides that, she and her other members who are not here, who are in other parts, have traveled to Melbourne for the Deaf Olympics, to Singapore, to Malaysia, to the Festival of Granada, Barcelona, Brussels, Germany, and many other places in India. And in a matter of four years, we did 75 performances. And the last performance I did with them was for President Abdul Kalam and the Rashtrapati Bhavan. So, Kartika, the jewel in front of the chair.
with these talented Salam Balak performers, as I mentioned, we started the work in 2008 with a workshop, and it was an open uh, workshop. There was no addition. These young, enthusiastic performers came, not knowing what they were going in for. They all, most of them had just Bollywood dancing. Uh, there were two of my performers who are also my assistants, Shamshul and Avinash, had training a bit in Bharatan, uh, in Chao, Kathakali, a bit of mishmash, but the others all had was Bollywood. And when they stepped into my world, they didn't know what they were stepping into because my work is very, very minimalistic, very controlled, but at the same time, it's also full of energy, exploring spaces, defying gravity, learning to trust. So these were the aspects of which I looked into and created the work with them. They are going to make the performance out of on breaking boundaries and we can know from the performers from Salam Balak Trust about their performance and their experience working with Astad Debu. Uh, hi, my name is Avinash. I am Astad Sir ke saath, teen saal se, uh, kar raha unke saath, is group. Mein. Aur, jab ye group shuru hua tha, to ye dance hamare liye bilkul naya tha. क्योंकि इस तरह के डांस हम लोगों ने पहले देखा था पर करने का कभी हम लोगों ने सोचा नहीं था क्योंकि ये डांस रियली बहुत टफ है जितना हम देखते हैं बॉलीवुड और सालसा जाज और अदर डांस पर उससे इसमें ज़्यादा कंट्रोल है इस पे इस डांस में बॉडी पे कंट्रोल कैसे करना है ये है क्योंकि स्लो है स्लो में आप कैसे अपने आप पे कंट्रोल करते हो तो ये हमारे लिए हम सभी के लिए बहुत बढ़िया रहा है कि हमारे साथ बहुत बड़े कलाकार बहुत महान कलाकार गुरु अस्ताद देवूसा जिनके साथ हमें ये काम करने का मौका मिला है और हम लोग बहुत खुश नसीब हैं इस चीज के लिए क्योंकि हर किसी को ऐसा मौका नहीं मिलता है My when I was eight years old, I ran away from my home because of family problems, because my father was alcoholic. So there were so many problems at my home. So I decided one day to run away from. And then uh, uh, I got the Salam Barak Trust. I started uh, living there and I started my education there. Now I'm doing my graduation. And with my study, I also do theater and dance. In 2008, uh, I joined Astaz Ji, uh, and I saw first time the new experience, the new kind of dance. I am a puppeteer, television puppeteer and a stage show puppeteer. I work with um, Sesame Street, it's a, it's a um, American company project, it's a Sesame Street. In India we call that Gali Gali Sim Sim. In that project I worked four years in that serial, TV serial, and I am doing dance, puppetry or acting also. So. Uh, for puppetry things, I'm going to next month in the U.S. for with um, Dadi Padamji. I started dance uh, in 2000, 2000, from 2000. First, uh, I learned in Ashley Lobo Dance Company. It's a uh, jazz company. Jazz, he's providing jazz or ballet or contemporary dance. And I, I took... Uh, four or five years training in that company after that 
I joined the Kathakali uh, for one year and after that I also joined uh, for uh, Chow, it's a martial art dance. Breaking boundaries again, what they had with their Bollywood dance and that's all. So there again, they were breaking boundaries to come into a new boundary of mine. Now when I decided to create, because of the fact that the time factor was very, very short, I didn't weave a story but I took into three aspects of the work. First of all, for them to figure out to what capability their bodies can be stretched and they became aware of movements which they were not aware of. Secondly, space. You know, how do you handle space? People think um, just by dancing on a proscenium stage, yes you can, but you can dance also in very, very contained spaces and, and one of the performances is all about contained spaces and how you work within that and work as a unit. The other aspect what we explored was defying gravity, trust. And the other aspect which I looked into was bringing in an element of the bhakti rasa because of the fact that my work is based on rasas, even though when it is abstract, there is a rasa behind even that abstractness.